Hello my internet family and Merry Christmas from my family to yours. I am seriously so excited about today's video. I feel like this is the ultimate Christmas video. We are cleaning, we are decorating, I have a DIY to share with you, we are baking. I'm going to share different family activities you can do throughout the holidays. I go shopping at Target, show you some great things there for Christmas, so truly all the things. I really hope that this video is inspiring to you, I hope that it's motivating, and I hope that you enjoy it. Please like, please subscribe, I appreciate it so, so much. We're gonna dive right into the shopping and then we'll get to everything else. We just pulled up to Target. I'm about to go in and grab some Christmassy things. I definitely want a Christmas scent cleaning product. I'm so surprised I don't have one already, but like a multi-surface spray or whatever I can find. Family Christmas pajamas. I'm hoping I can find all of our sizes in store. If not, I'll order them online today. I'm actually very surprised I haven't done that yet. Really want to grab some Christmas activities we can do with Forest, like a gingerbread house, sugar cookies, and what other activities they have. I'm sure they have a lot of kid activities, like um, you know, holiday theme activities in the dollar spot. So let's go in. So here's a look at some of my favorite finds from the dollar spot for Christmas. I love this mini tree collar for $5. This metal tis the season sign is also $5. And then there's so many little Christmas trees for different decorating projects. There's greenery I'll show you in a second. These boxes for gifts are only $3. I love that scalloped edge. And then I found even more trees. So I'm very surprised that all of this Christmas decor is not sold out yet, but I'm sure it will be sooner than later. If you still have a few more decorating projects to do, definitely get here as soon as you get the chance. I saw this rolling pin with the cookie cutters. Should have grabbed this. You'll see why a little later in the video. And then all the family pajamas. I always recommend that you buy them from Target because they seem to be so much cheaper than anywhere else. So we just went through some of my favorite holiday home decor. I wanted to share this baking section real quick, this treat section. So many different kinds of gingerbread houses here. I love this pre-made one. It looks really nice. It's thick. It looks like great quality. It kind of has a fancy feel to it. All you need to do is decorate it. So practical, so easy. These books are at checkout with a bunch of different names on them. I did not see Forest. I did see one from Grandpa and Grandma though. If you don't see your name, you could get that one. So now we're gonna head home and you'll see all my finds. All right, so here's everything I grabbed at Target. I'll do a really quick run through and then we'll dive right in. The first thing is this holiday barn. It's like a gingerbread house, but a holiday barn. I thought Forrest would love that. This one is for me because it is sparkly, it's pink, it's blue, a little bit of white, everything I love. I could not resist. And then I grabbed Forrest these pajamas. I love the Bird's Bees line, especially the holiday collections. He already has one of their holiday pajamas, but it is just so hard to resist these. They're nice quality, they last a long time. This is the print we're going for for our family pajamas. And I only grabbed Forrest because they didn't have any in my size or in Chad's size. I also grabbed him these toddler socks. They're really fuzzy and cozy. And then these ones are for me. I grabbed these cookie cutters. I think I have some, but I don't know where they are. So I think it was only like $3 or so for the Christmas tree, the gingerbread man and the star. Here is our secret family recipe for gingerbread cookies and for sugar cookies. Here's the frosting I grabbed. I grabbed all of these sprinkles. I think there's about six different options in there. And then this was only $2. I couldn't resist, Force loves straws, so he's gonna love that. I grabbed this little guy for the tub, has like a little Santa outfit on. Here's some activities. So this one's a nutcracker that he can paint. And then this one is a little gnome that he can paint. And I think these were like a dollar. Yeah, that was a dollar. And that was $3. And then for the cleaning products, I didn't see a ton of options. This is cinnamon and star and these hand soap. And then I'm really excited about this one. It's Snowdrop Scent, a multi-surface spray for Mrs. Myers. I have never heard of Snowdrop, so it might be new. 
And then the last thing is just a DIY I wanted to do. I don't know what these are called, but they're all over Pinterest where there's fake snow in the bottom then you put some trees in it and whatever else you like. And it almost looks like a snow globe. It's gonna be really cute to like set out on the counter and do a fun little family activity. So that's my haul. And now we're going to get into a little cleaning. So I want to make sugar cookies with Forrest in a little while. He's napping right now. So I'm going to clean the kitchen and get everything set out for that. This was my first time trying that Snowdrop multi-surface spray and it smells really good. I'm trying to, I've been trying to think like, how do I explain the scent? It's not peppermint, it's not a minty scent, but it smells very fresh at the same time, like a winter freshness. Maybe one of you who have tried it can explain it better than me in the comments. So far though, I do really, really like it. I've been using these scented multi-surface sprays from Mrs. Myers for years and they never disappoint. Santa's busy saying ho, ho, ho. We're feeling jolly eating Christmas cake. And then we go skating on the frozen lake. Saying hi to every friendly face. And later we warm up by the fireplace. Carolers are singing outside our door. Lovely songs we all heard before. As they walk. So the dishes are just about finished. I'm going to continue wiping down the counters. Then I will be able to start setting out all of my baking stuff and getting it ready for the man of the house as we've been calling Forrest. I will say that ever since I decorated for Christmas, I've been feeling way more motivated to keep the house clean. I just like it's so much work to set out all of your decor and to arrange everything and bring it up and down the stairs and whatnot that I want to keep the house looking nice. So has anybody else been feeling that way? One thing I've learned with Littles is you can never prep too much. It makes everything 10 times easier. So I have Forrest's milk ready for when he eats his cookies. I have everything laid out to make the cookies. And now I'm going to do food coloring in the frosting to make a few different colors. So we're going to do a white, a blue, a green, and I tried to make a red one. I kept adding red food coloring into the white frosting and it was just more and more pink. So, oh well, he's at the age where he doesn't care. Forrest loves red, so I like really wanted a red one, but hey. It's okay, these don't need to be perfect.
And just like that, we are ready, we are prepped. I didn't know how long until he was going to wake up, so I just wanted to put these in the refrigerator for now. I'm putting plastic wrap over them so that the frosting doesn't dry out. And then I'll show you a little overlay of everything on the island. And then Fory Boy is up, he's ready, and he's in his pajamas. And I just wanted to show you what they look like before we get started with the baking because as usual, he is the cutest thing ever. The last thing I needed to do is pull out his tower, his learning tower it's called, so he can stand at the counter and get all his baking done. The chef is in and we're getting started with our baking. I'm trying to start several family holiday traditions now so that Forrest remembers them growing up. We're actually going to see Christmas lights tonight for the first time ever. So let me know what your family Christmas traditions are below. We do need to make another handprint ornament. We tried last year and we bought a few different kinds and they were all so hard and dried out. So I have one from his first Christmas. I don't have one from last year, unfortunately. I had to stop him from eating the raw dough at least 50 times, which is to be expected with a toddler. No, 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 we're not going to eat it right now. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Don't eat it. Okay. No, 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 don't eat it. Don't eat it. I had to leave that in for the memory watching this back so many years from now because it's just so funny that Forrest doesn't understand what the microwave and the oven are for. Anytime we put food in those, he gets so mad. He thinks like we're hiding it from him. So cannot wait until he understands what they're actually for. We read his favorite Christmas book while we waited for the cookies to bake. Luckily, it was not long, about five to seven minutes. He did a little bit of decorating and then he was over it and I finished up. Here he is checking him himself out in the viewfinder. He is the cutest thing ever. Shining like no other. 
So now I'm going to quickly finish up the decorating. The shapes didn't hold too well. I put them a little bit too close together. They didn't touch each other. Surprisingly, I was just trying to hurry. We were on toddler time and I didn't use anything fancy. Of course, you can like pipe the frosting on. You can do so many different things. I just, I read the room. They're just for us. It's just to, you know, have the experience of doing it. So I didn't get too fancy, but of course you can use so many different tools. If you want to do that, just added the frosting frosting, the sprinkles, and that was that. So now we're going to move on to our next project after this last little close up and we're going to get back to the cleaning. I have been meaning to dust at the front door around all of this entryway Christmas decor. So I'm going to start here and do that and then we're going to work on the living room. First, we're going to start with this everyday mess, and then I wanted to set the room up and show you how I like it to look for our guests around the holidays. Very cozy, very inviting, and of course, very festive. And just like that, things are coming together. The toys are picked up. I'm going to vacuum across the rug and then I'll also vacuum the flocking under the tree that has fallen off. Luckily, I feel like I hit the jackpot with this. Forrest doesn't really care about the tree. So many of you have asked me how I keep him from touching it. He cared the first few days, like he would poke it, but he knew, I could tell he knew, he wasn't really supposed to touch it. The only time the flocking comes off or anything falls off is when he's spinning the chairs that are next to it because they're swivel chairs. So that's just about it. I'm done with the vacuuming. I'm going to set up the pillows, of course, with my karate chop. Some of you love it, some of you hate it. And I did bring some of the pillows downstairs I knew there were too many in here, but I mean, it's just so hard to leave pillows behind. Like, I feel like you can never have too many unless they're in the way because they just look so good. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. The fabrics are refreshed with that Febreze Unstoppable Spray. I love that. I've been sharing short reels of my favorite cleaning products on Instagram, so you can check those out. The fireplace is on. It's so warm and cozy. I always forget to do this until like the middle of winter, so I'm trying to remember earlier. It goes so long without being turned on. I forget I can even do that, which sounds crazy, but that room is done, and now we're going to do a really cute decorative project so all this stuff is from the dollar spot at target you can use sugar or you can use flour you can use both whatever you have we were out of sugar so i opted for flour it looks like fake snow in the bottom and i like it to be a little bit unleveled is that a word i like it to not be perfectly leveled because i think it looks a little more realistic that way and then you can pop in whatever you like. If you can find little reindeer, you could add those in. I added in several different kinds of trees. And I think it looks so, so cute. The one with the greens and blues is going to stay in the kitchen. And then the more colorful one with the pinks and reds is going to go in my office. A winter wonderland is the time of year. My winter wonderland, my winter wonderland. And that is just about everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for spending the time with me. I want to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas, a happy and healthy Christmas. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. If you haven't had the chance to like or subscribe yet, I would appreciate it so much. And I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!